Hello everyone, thank you for joining my tutorials. Today we'll see how we can able to use the Zona statistic as a table tool. Okay, if you right click and click on the help, then you can able to get this information here about the tools. Okay, so summarizing the value of a raster within the zones of another data set and reports the result as a table. So here we can able to get the area, then minimum value, maximum value, mean value, so all this information we can able to get using this zonal statistic as a table tool. So how to use it? So I'm having this shape file. Okay, you can able to check this red color shape file I'm having. And this shape file is having a tarsil information. Different, different tarsils is there. Okay. And here is the digital elevation model is there. This is the digital elevation model. And I'm interested to know what is the minimum maximum elevation in a particular zone okay also the mean then we can get more information about the area as well so how we can able to get this okay so you can able to check here you can able to provide a different color ramp just click on the color schema you will get different kinds of color schema here and you can able to check the highest elevation and lowest elevation is showing here. okay so what i'm interested to know I'm interested to know more detail about each zone. Okay, so if you'll go and do manually, it will take too much time. So for that, we can able to go to geo processing and use this zonal statistic as a table. Too. So for that, you can able to go to view, click on geo processing and the tool, there is a option, special analyst tool. In the special analyst tool, there is a zonal. In the zonal, there is a zonal statistic as a table. So input raster or a feature zone data. So this is the tarsil, okay? And this information, based on this information, I want to know the details, okay? So in the zonal statistic as a table, if you click on input raster or a feature zone data, if you click here, you will see these three files here, tarsil, field name, and LLC. So this tarsil, field name, and LLC. So first, I will select this tarsil. Okay. In that tarsil, as we have seen, there are different zones. Okay. District, state, tarsil. So I am interested to get the detail about each tarsil zone. Okay. If you will right click, open the attribute table. Again, I will show you. This tarsil is there. On the basis of this attribute field, I want to calculate the detail. Then input value. So input value, I will select this digital elevation model. That is my field M. Okay. And where you want to save this output raster, you can able to provide the location wherever you want to save. I will go by default. So you want to calculate the mean, majority, then median, minimum. There are so many options is available. So if you want to calculate the all, then you can able to select all. And other option I'll keep as it is, and I'll just click on the run. Once I'll click on the run, you will see that. Just right click, open attribute table, you'll see this field is added here and now you can able to see for each zone I'm getting the detail here okay so this tarsil is here and you can able to check tarsil name as well here okay and if you click on it you can able to see the detail about it so this is the uh, if we'll open it let open side by side and then I will select this one Okay, Radha Nagri, and this Radha Nagri is selected here. And now you can able to check the detail here. That is the minimum elevation, maximum elevation, and the mean elevation. Okay, here is the mean. This is the range. Also, we can able to get the area. This is in square meter, and you can able to get the sum. So using this tool we can able to get the minimum temperature maximum temperature then if you want to do the analysis individually then you need to export this each one and you can able to get the individual result but if you are working on a larger area and at a time you want information about the all the uh, suppose you are having ward zones you want information about ward zone what is the mean what is the maximum temperature minimum temperature so then you can able to use this zonal statistic as well suppose you are working on the like suppose you are working on urban italian effect okay and you want to know which ward is having highest uhi then you can able to create urban italian effect map 
map and you can able to check which zone is having highest temperature, highest UHI as well. Similar way, you can able to use this technique for different, different regions as well. So let me clear this, okay? Again, suppose you are having the land use land cover data, okay? And if you'll open the land use land cover, then you will see that there are some class, water body, built up, vegetation, barren land. And I'm interested to calculate the area for each class, okay? So water body area, built up area. So to calculate this, I can able to use this tool as well. So the statistic as a table. Here I will select the LULC and based on the class name, this is the class name. I want to calculate the LULC area, okay? Other thing I'll keep as it is, and we'll just click on the run. So these things is added here. If I click open attribute table, you can able to see water body area we have calculated, built up area we have calculated. This way you can able to calculate the area and also you will know the pixel count here as well. So if we'll multiply plus pixel count into cell size, width into height of cell size, you'll also get the area as well. Okay, so this way very easily we can able to use this tool. If you require any more information about this, you can message us, details is given in the description box. If you require any help with the project, you can contact us, details is given. If you like this video, don't forget to like, share and subscribe to my channel. Thank you.